up, ladies and gentlemen? My name is Mingo, and this is Mingo Boys Nurse Up, where I try my best to teach you what I know about streaming up until this point. Today, I'm going to be teaching you how to import an audio clip into your Streamlabs chatbot so that you can make a command so that your audience can use it whenever the hell they want. Stay tuned. Now, ladies and gentlemen, for those of you who don't know, Streamlabs chatbot is a downloadable chatbot app that you can use uh, and customize to use on your stream. Now, I'm not going to go into the ins and outs of every little detail of chatbot, uh, mainly because I'm personally still using it. But of the things that I use, I know that there are some things that I wanted to show you guys because you guys have been asking. So first thing you need to do is you need to go back to my other video on how to create an audio clip. I have that up here. I'll put a little card up here for you so you can click on that. Once you have that audio clip ready to go, remember where you saved it. So. All you're going to need to do is click on sound files over here, then hit the little plus button up on top. You're going to come into this little open window here and you're going to give a name to your command. So in this case, I'm changing my cuss command to a cuss screen because for those of you who follow me know that whenever I'm trying not to cuss as much as I have been. So whenever you guys catch me cussing on stream, you just type in this command and it gives me a little heads up that, hey, you screwed up. Go ahead and take a spoonful of fluff. Now I'm going to discontinue the fluff, so I'm replacing that with a blood-curdling scream just to scare the crap out of me because I love horror games and you guys like to watch me jump. I'm going to name this one Cuss Scream. Over here, you can just bring the votes down to zero. I want this to be nice and loud, but usually about 100 is where I keep my sound effects. It's about the level of whatever it is it's recorded at, so it should be fine, but I want mine to be a little louder because I wanted to scare the crap out of me. So I'm going to bring it up, probably just bring it up all the way to 200. You're going to click the little pick button here. Then you're going to navigate to the folder where your sound is at. Mine is located um, a couple of folders in. So bear with me for a second right here in sound effects. And the new one I'm using is called Cuss Scream. I'm going to hit open. You're going to see the path where it is that it was. If you want, you can go ahead and preview it. That was pretty nasty, wasn't it? Then you're going to hit submit. That's step one. That's the first thing you got to do is bring it into your sound files. Now, to make the actual command, you're going to come over here to your commands little tab over here. And you're going to click the little plus button again over here. And then you're going to add the command. Go, cut scream. Um, you want this to be wherever. This basically groups it so that you know where you, where you want it to have. I'm going to use this as a general because I want everybody to be able to use it. The permissions are going to be set to everyone. Um, I'm going to give it a cooldown, probably of about two minutes so that the, it's not spammed. I only want to hear it once. And then you're going to click on the sound file here. It should be on the bottom. Hit cut screen and then hit submit. Now, if you can see over here in my general commands, it's under cuss screen. So when you go to the console to test it out, you just have to type in exclamation point C U S S screen. Got to spell there for a second and hit enter. <laughs> and there you have it. It's really that simple. And there you have it. It was quick, simple and to the point. You know, little things like this really make a difference. When you're a streamer, one of the most important things that you have to remember is user engagement. You have to engage with your audience and little things like this where they can type and do something that actually affects your stream, it, it just really makes all the difference. If you like this video, go ahead and click that like button. Click the subscribe button if you haven't so that you can get notified of new videos. I try my best to upload videos every Wednesday at 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Also, uh, you can also follow me on Twitch. That's gonna be at twitch.tv forward slash Mingo Boys Nerd Stuff. I stream every Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday from 9 p.m. Eastern till about 11, 11.30 midnight, depending on where I'm at at the game. I'll go ahead and leave a link in the description below so that you can go ahead and click on it and follow me too. I'll also leave a link for the download for Streamlabs chatbot so you can go ahead and download it and check it out for yourself. Until the next time, happy streaming. Peace. But I get, I get what you mean. I get what you mean. I still played it and I still loved it. Ooh, ooh! Did you see that? Oh my God! Somebody clipped that. Ooh, 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 ooh. Did you? Ooh, ooh! That was excellent. Did you see that? Oh, dude! Jesus! 
one shot, blam, right in the cabeza. Oh, man, that was great. Jesus, that was excellent. I love it. What's the other guy is? He's on alert now. Oh, second. Oh, oh, oh. Did you see that? 